In this video, I'll be showing you how to flash the Node MCU firmware onto the ESP8266. Um, Wi-Fi module so I bought this uh, this is my first uh, module that I bought and uh, I was very much interested to use the um, Lua code and uh, by flashing in the node MCU firmware so I started off with uh, flashing this uh, module um, with the firmware but uh, got into a lot of um, um, issues while doing this so let me tell you what I faced uh, initially and um, how I was able to finally um, flash the firmware so initially I downloaded this node MCU uh, flasher and uh, tried to uh, flash um, the firmware but um, I got an error and um, the flashing stopped immediately after 7% um, and so I went ahead googled and finally um, thought I'll use this XTCOM utility to flash the firmware but um, even this seems to be having the same problem and I even tried one more uh, uh, yeah, one more flash. It's called the ESP um, ESP Flash Downloader, and even this, I face the same problem. So I tried. So I wanted to try my hands on the uh, Linux um, or the Python code. So I went ahead and downloaded the. ESP uh, tool dot py uh, focus here Let's see this ESP tool dot py from this particular github dot com and um, try to I uh, install the Python framework and uh, try to execute this uh, file. Um, to flash the firmware so what I did was um, I just placed my firmware file here a node mcu.latest.bin in the python directory and I also placed the ESP tool dot py here and um, try to flash so this is a command to flash the firmware and let's see how this goes and here you see invalid head of packet right after three percent and um, let me just try to reset okay I've done the reset let me try it again so it stopped at 11 percent again So the solution that I found was to tweak the code itself. Um, so the idea here is to sh to reduce the block size for RAM block and flash block to just 18 and 4 
and save the file and now I'm going to file the command again I probably would try to reset And now I'll be just firing up the command. So this is a very slow process since I have reduced the block size. The process would go really slow, but um, in fact it would complete to 100%. Now you see it's still at 1% and I can see the blue color light it's flashing and the connections are pretty much simple here. Um, I think you probably wouldn't know, notice it but um, I have connected um, the GPIO0 to the ground um, and the RX and TX to the serial USB interface there. The RX goes to the TX and TX, go, TX goes, goes to the RX. And um, the VCC and the ground connections here from the Wi-Fi module is going into the serials, serial interface um, VCC and ground. And um, the GPU is grounded as I said earlier and um, CPID is um, connected to the VCC here and let's see what is the percentage it's at 6% now I'll pause this video and uh, come back to you in a short while. Welcome back guys. So it's now at 87% and uh, it's been like um, close to half an hour now. And it's uh, like 88% complete. Um, so it's going to complete in a very short while and uh, I can see still the uh, the firmware is being flashed uh, this is blinking at the one one five two double zero um, baud rate and uh, I forgot to tell you one more thing is that um, okay so I bought this uh, power supply unit um, on eBay for close to two three dollars, and um, this the primary reason I bought this was um, because I came across a lot of articles on the internet that the reason for uh, the firmware uh, not being flashed properly is due to the, the current uh, being low um, because the USB um, the current that flows out of the USB uh, it's very low and it's not uh, um, really enough for the firmware to be flashed so that's the reason I tried to take this I bought this and tried to power it from my power bank and supply the 3 volt but this didn't work and uh, yeah, that's 94% and I also bought an other ESP8255 ESP12 Wi-Fi module which is um, an integrated test uh, development board and uh, I the primary reason I bought this was my 
my this module actually I thought it was bricked and I didn't find any use because the firmware uh, was f um, no, um, it was not flashed properly and I couldn't use it anymore even using even the original firmware was gone so I bought this development board and I tried to flash and even the, I faced the same problem with this and finally I found the solution uh, the primary reason I went for this I thought having this additional power supply unit here with the three powered batteries I thought I, I have a fairly better chance to um, get success but that didn't happen even with the batteries external batteries and I think now we are very close to the completion here and bingo it's done and and even this is complete so let's quickly I'll uh, remove the GPIO0 from the ground and leave it floating here so that I can operate um, test some commands and um, let me open this quickly the Lua loader and um, connect to COM2 yes it's connected as you can see with 115200 pod okay guys so I was able to flash the firmware and um, just try to give some commands um, through the Lua loader and um, I was successfully able to set this um, module as a um, access point and I was even able to connect to this access point from my um, mobile phone and even I could connect to my um, router so that was a very quick uh, video um, of uh, the firmware flashing so thanks for watching